Hey everyone, okay, so today's video. Before we proceed, let's just get one or two things out of the way. It's just makeup. There are a lot of people out there who really, really want to take offense and therefore they're going to. Good for you, you enjoy yourself. Knock yourself out on the keyboard. But it's just makeup, so who cares? I'm also aware that makeup is a wonderful thing, it's self-expression. We transform ourselves, whatever our vision of beauty is, we transform it ourselves into that, and that's great. I don't think that any of those things are bad, and it's just makeup, it washes off. We all have different preferences on what we find beautiful in somebody. I know what mine are, yours may be completely different. So let's not all have nosebleeds over this video, because it's a pointless task. In the last several years with Instagram taking off the way that it has, we are now seeing more and more wonderful makeup pictures and the talents behind them are just amazing. And they floor me, I love looking at them. But what, when I did the video on Instagram brows, the point I was making was that what we're doing now is borrowing techniques from basically from drag queens that have existed for so many years and now using them on ourselves, but we're not diluting them. What we're doing is using the exact same techniques with the same heavy hand and experiencing the same results, but we're doing it, but women are doing it on themselves or they're having it done to themselves by makeup artists. And while the techniques are fascinating, the purpose is to transform a male into a heightened female. And when you've already got a female face, all of the excess work needs to be softened, but it isn't being. And we're seeing this on Instagram. And if you look at this video here, now this video here is by the incredible Miss Fang, and his link or her link is in the description bar below. You should absolutely subscribe. Incredibly talented makeup artist, and the transformations are phenomenal. But there is nothing really dissimilar from this to all the other pictures that we're seeing on Instagram, except for the fact that this is a man transforming himself into a woman. So this is where I kind of get confused because it's like clean beauty, which is that clean beauty doesn't mean you can't have a heavy smoky eye or strong lip. It, it means that the skin is clean. It doesn't mean it has to be a sheer foundation or a tinted moisturizer. It's that we have gorgeous skin. We're seeing skin as best we can. We aren't trying to drag ourselves up. And again, I realize that makeup is about self-expression, but when more and more people come to me with Instagram pictures saying, I wanna look like this. First of all, that picture has been filtered to buggery. It has more filters on it than you could possibly ever know. So not even they look like it. Second of all, going back to this drag thing, it's so heavy, you've no idea how heavy that is. The amount of product involved and the extreme, it's like when you see the contouring charts, um, I was talking to um, my friend about this and you know she was explaining as well that when you see the contouring charts with all the, the, the places to highlight and contour, that is for demonstration purposes only. It's not to be taken literally that they need to be that color permanently. The whole point is that's where the shading should go and that's where the highlight should go. But what we're doing, you know, I like to contour and highlight, but I tend to use um, a cream and I use it under and then I blend it away so there are no visible lines. But what we're seeing, particularly on Instagram and more and more YouTube videos, is the lines are becoming more and more prominent. And the face shape, I think, is taking on a more masculine tone because we're borrowing these techniques from drag queens and applying them on ourselves. And it worries me when clean beauty is something that we're almost forgetting exists. And instead, what we want is the heavy, heavy, heavy under eye concealer where it's really, really bright, or the ultra sculpted cheekbones and really sharp jawline. And then what we're gonna do is pair it with a really strong winged smoky eye, therefore contouring that part of the face even more, and then really heavily shading around the forehead. And it's like, we forget that beauty doesn't have to look like that. Beauty can be many things, and that is a beautiful look, don't get me wrong but it worries me because more and more young girls are coming and saying, this is what I want to look like, this is what I want to look like. And I'm thinking, this is drag makeup. This is not, this is drag. It is that simple, it's drag makeup. Now, on a woman, it's a very strange thing and I'd like to hear what your opinions are because I personally think that the techniques of drag queens are amazing and should absolutely be adopted into 
um, your makeup routine at such a small level that everything should be so subtle because it, we're men are trying to transform into the heightened female form but you already have that you already have that in your face because you're female so you don't need to add even more to it and it's like where a little bit of contouring can look great in the cheekbone just underneath or a little bit of highlight on the top of the cheekbone we're now doing every single thing and then pairing it with a heavy eye and then a heavy lip and then we're putting even more powder on that than you could possibly imagine and yes it will photograph amazingly well but it looks heavy sometimes and it, it's a concern because a lot of times the women over 30 seem to not be too immune to it but those in their 20s are, are coming and saying I want it like this and this and this is how I want my makeup and again it's makeup who cares it washes off but it's a concern for me when I don't see clean beauty anymore the same way. We still have makeup artists doing it, thankfully. Uh, Lisa Eldridge does very clean beauty where you have that gorgeous skin where it looks like skin, first of all. And if you have problematic skin, you can still have a skin-like effect. What I'm talking about is the drag techniques, not whether or not you need a light or heavy coverage foundation. Charlotte Tilbury does that kind of real life skin where you can see the skin and it feels and looks like skin at the same time. So let me know what your thoughts are. Please don't turn to keyboard warriors and be like, you can't tell me what to do. Because I don't care, okay? <laughs> just whatever. I just think that we have reached a point in beauty where the look that we see now with the extreme makeup that we're seeing adopted from men and now being applied to women with the overuse of other filters and all the rest are becoming so extreme that the people involved in those photographs doesn't look anything like it themselves because of all those features involved. Let me know what your thoughts are because I'd like to hear them. Don't forget to subscribe to Miss Fame because truly wonderful. And you can adopt some of those techniques and still have it in the most beautiful feminine way possible without going to that extreme where it becomes a masculine face on a female. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you all soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.